All right, thanks for staying tuned. Welcome back to Daybreak Africa, coming to you from the Lagos studio of Captain Television. It's still our Thank God is Friday edition. And today we are here for some laughs, for some entertainment, and for some interesting conversation. So today on the program, we're going to be top talking about a very important topic, which is self-confidence, that is, embracing body positivity. I'm sure you've been wondering, why are we talking about body positivity, especially when we have three no before i tell you what i wanted to say let's make welcome our very own rra mm. get familiar with that you know that abbreviation R -R rachel robert abilie so people in knowledge you see i think it's like when you wear bright colors there's a level of pride pride that, that comes, comes with, with it. yeah that you can see them from my, their from my right hand yeah, side yeah. Are right, you know? yeah but it's okay you see in this life <laughs> 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 oh god oh, thank you guys oh, he really. wants to talk about confidence so you body positivity it? yeah body that's positivity. it go baby you know you know <laughs> i think, I think the, the, my favorite part of this whole conversation is that the three of us will fit into this topic perfectly hmm. so let's just let's let's roll let's so roll. really body positivity so we've had a, a, we've had a lot of people that feel that you know they are insecure about their body there's something that is not you know they feel you know, maybe my next world you know, I don't know if you've ever had that conversation with you. Just look at yourself in the mirror and just be like, in my next world, God, this dimple, like, let it show, like, on your own. <laughs> let it just come out. Okay, I wish I had a, a more curvier shape. shape yeah. I wish I had this. I wish mm. my face wasn't uh, this kind of shape and all of that. I don't know. So let's just start from ourselves before we just now start trashing the world. Are there times where you feel, you know, less confident about yourself and feel like, I wish I could do this better. Mm. I wish I can enhance some way. Well, um, for me, when I was in, I think sometime in 200 level in the university, somebody just asked me this question. Just looked at me and said, if God gave you the chance to change something in your body, what, what would you change? Think? I looked at myself from head to, to toe. I should be. I don't want to change anything, just that I would love to be slimmer. <laughs> That's all. That's all. And there was this, the person that asked me the question faced uh, another person, her name was Anne. She faced our other roommate, Victoria, said, what would you like to change now? And said, mm, I just want my teeth to be whiter and all of that. Then we now faced that, okay, you that you asked were asking the question. The question. Then she came with this very long list. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> Then she was like, I want God to change my teeth, my lips. You see these eyebrows, if you can go up a little. If this one. Then the other person was, the Victoria was not like, just tell God to carry sledgehammer, crush you, <laughs> exactly. and remold you from the beginning. But I, uh, I, there's um, someone I know that sells um, thrift. She used to say something on her status usually, and she would say, um, What you have what you think that you want to correct about your mm -hmm. body is what somebody yeah, is loves. About yes. you. Or so you find that that thing that you feel like, oh, it's not good enough, or you're feeling insecure about. about. There are thousands of people who have it and they are wearing it with pride or they don't just care about it. But I think that um, for most of us, especially women, we have, uh, society has given us a narrative exactly there's this how perfect a picture woman perfect. Should, yeah. look. should look and yeah. i would give the credit of that narrative majorly to our movies mm. yeah you're correct when, when the movies want to select a pretty lady yes a princess there's mm -hmm. a way the princess looks look. Look. For, yeah. fair people. for fair people for tall fair ladies people. tall uh, mm. with a particular neckline yeah not busty, mm. not, busty yeah. You know, not too curvy in fact there was a time up until 2017 if i'm not mistaken uh, miss universe and uh, miss world was about slim girls you cannot be curvy mm -hmm. even if you are slim and you just by any chance have mm. figure it you will just not be qualified yeah, you have to be straight and look like I don't know, Pressing. but I don't want to body shame people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just have to be slim and very, very thin. And those were the people that they considered beautiful because that was a narrative mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. was being shared. Many of our movies, whether Hollywood, Nollywood, Bollywood, where whatever wood you want to talk about, you yeah. find that there's a style, mm -hmm. there's a way. There's a standard. There's like, a standard. Mm -hmm. You even see it in the auditions. 
it's just recently, maybe like a year, two they years ago, where you it, find yeah. that uh, people with certain shapes are the star of a particular yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. they, are defined, uh, they, are, they are defined as a fine person in that movie. Before, you have to be like... You can't have too much uh, backside. You can't exactly. have too busty. You got they are, they are, they, they, in the auditions, you see 18 to 72 years mm -hmm. old with waist 22. So exactly. <laughs> five, 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 five inch, five inch, skinny cock, skinny cock, feet. Yeah. Like, what's so all of they this? They have all these specifications that they've already uh, So if you don't fit there. into all of that, just don't, don't move you, close. You can't even move close. So those things, I feel, are uh, the things that shaped our thought to thoughts. think that that mm. is what is beautiful okay mm. thanks for that <laughs> introductory <laughs> you know talk anyway mm. i think uh sometimes is it two years ago i had opportunity of um interviewing i think the uh the girl that won the plus size if you mm. can remember queen. yeah i do queen. i do, so, I do you know, remember when she came that was i said there are levels to I this to feel like i was excessively fat oh um, more wow. Until right. I saw when she came, I was like, you know, she I was like both of us together. I was just really, like, and she, yeah. the way she carried herself. I up, think the, I up think until now, I still have a number. I still, I still check her status, and you know the way she. The, it has never been a time she felt so down mm. or she felt like I need to correct something about my body. No, and nothing like that. That day I had to do a video. I, I said, there are levels to this confidence thing. That people, <laughs> the way some people carry themselves, they don't care. And that's because, you know, you said something earlier that, you know, society has given us a definition that a lot of us feel we don't fit. Yes, we don't fit into that. And we, because we feel we, we don't match up, we, we feel the need to do certain things. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If you watch the just concluded AMVCA Awards, yes. Yes. we had a lot of, you know, the, and the, then we the had the IK shade, even yes. throwing shades at some people. And I was just like, why is this guy doing like this? <laughs> After and, all the no, stress they went they through, through to put themselves in yeah. that shape to fit oh. into the narrative of who is a beautiful I don't, woman. I don't know why we really need to always want to fit into this. And like you said, like um, the AMVC, like the guy was saying, they, they need to also um, award um, cosmetology. Yes. yes. And, and then before you know, he just mentioned that. Uh, talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. I'm like, I felt somehow. I think that um, Lola they asked the question that she does not really know why we feel we do need to fit into it. But I think that um, it may, it, that comes from the way after our minds have been shaped as a people, yeah. mm -hmm. then there's a way we react to people who don't fit into that narrative. Okay. I I'm a, I'm a plus sized person, and I've seen um, people that are, uh, maybe like two inches less fatter than I am, feel like they are better. Hmm. Mm. You, I, I'm sure for me, may have experienced it, yeah. or even you yourself. Yeah. I know you are not a tall person per mm. se. So you see people yeah, that are just like tall, two inches yeah. taller than mm -hmm. you, feel like you, know, I'm, you are I'm, short. You know, what I didn't say that thing when she... No, when it's she not just that. about what, being what fat. I, what I would have loved is just... Yeah, I was coming to you that. It's okay. not just about <laughs> being fat. So there yeah, are people that would look at maybe Lola there and say, maybe because they are just like a, an inch mm, taller than that. Uh, yeah. And they would talk you down, exactly. make you feel less of yourself. Make you feel like you can add that one inch you know what we said, we have someone who it. said he went to, um, he, a, a guy who went for um a knee um surgery. stretch yeah, yeah. Knee so, stretch. so so it could be taller so it could be people do it cristiano ronaldo did it why okay but then but before you get you ask the why like no why? no no no. there are various reasons <laughs> okay so what like is there anything you would really love to change about you i love my body i'm telling you this are you insecure love, about it wait, anyway one nothing time. nothing i just I would have just loved to be a bit taller. You, you see, see. Um, <laughs> you, you see what we are dying way too. I'm, I'm just saying that what we are doing, as much as we say I'm, I'm beautiful. You look yeah. at yourself, I'm beautiful. For me, you are this, you are that, you are conquering the world. You are, sh <laughs> and then you know, I don't know whether they I still just that. That, they still want to know that that time you yeah. Yeah. If, if only. If only your hands were a bit swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> if only oh, the top were a bit flatter. Exactly. You know, you'd have been more beautiful because, you know, some somebody was saying that we shouldn't really crucify. I'm sure we'll get to that in the right. course of the conversation. Somebody was saying that sometimes we shouldn't really crucify people that feel like, you know, they have a low self-esteem because mm. of something. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want um, a bigger butt mm -hmm. or they want a bigger... This. Mm. Did you ask him that question? 
No, I did mm. not. Okay, maybe I would have wanted a bigger <laughs> boobs and a bigger mm. but with a slimmer body. You know, yeah. while, while growing up, talking about bigger, bigger boobs, while growing up, I remember that um, I, I used to have uh, a big boss and my mom will my mom will want to crucify me for having for having a big boss and, and I thought she would you to wear certain clothes she would, of course she would she, I, I remember if at different times she would ask me that did I did I do something on the floor like the famous oh, people say the cool um, stuff, stuff that they Yoruba, used to say like, did I use a broom to do something and I'm like no I didn't do anything and she would be like Hope I have not been seen um, that. Oh, yeah, see I this one. Am I the one? Even with I did I think they will not work. So you <laughs> said no balance. You, you know, it, it, it made us feel, it made me right, like feel insecure. Like, is it is it bad for me to have a big boss? Mm, mm. You know, I, you can actually say that because you know, when I was growing up, when I was in primary school, I remember that I had this um classmate of mine that had a bigger bob um I would like chests, yeah. mm -hmm. a bigger Bust. displays, bigger bust. Mm -hmm. So, and me, you were in primary six. Everything was just, you know, yeah. just, I was still on, I was still on God. I was still, and so I had to, I had to make sure that I was a team lead. I had to carve out some people that were, you know, just you know like what we're you. fighting mm -hmm. for. Like, a, <laughs> I was your comfort. nobody can trample. I was the, I was the leader of our gang. Mm. Like, we made sure that we didn't make friends with people that had. But we were like, who are these people? Who are they? And now the funny thing, they were getting their attentions. Mm. <laughs> now this is Definitely. this is going somewhere. You know, they were everybody's. Everybody was always looking at yeah, them. Of they were beautiful set in a certain way. We had one fine because down. you were made you know, to think they were more beautiful. Uh, yes, that's correct. So we felt like they were getting their attention. Why we that were flat chested? You know, we we're just doing our thing. Nobody came to us. We we're just there. You would be seen as children. what I was thinking. Thank this you. was me in primary six, thinking mm. a guy should have started. Hello, how are you? Look at that. And the poor girl, you know, she she now felt they felt so bad. Like, and these are rich people, like they are rich kids. So like, why are you guys not playing with us? Because I felt that they were so they were like harmless. They had everything. They were like, what did we do? I don't even okay. I don't even like this. Do you want if they could share? <laughs> they were like, they do you want this? Like, like, if this is the reason this friendship will not mm -hmm. work, should I bring my this thing for you? Will you be wearing this? And I was just like, later, you know what, girl? I was just like, ah, ah for me. To what <laughs> end? <laughs> what are you trying to achieve? Oh, this See, will not even matter in every. I, I think that most times when um when people have been shaped to think that this is what beauty should look like, yeah. this is what um you are expected to be like. I feel like it affects our mentality both parents and society mm -hmm. alike. Mm -hmm. And these things are the reasons why people end up going bending over their back. Yeah. To make so sure that yeah. they the achieve. Feet. Yeah. I know what I went through, and I, I think for we that we are plus size, it's a lot more dangerous mm -hmm. because for someone who is maybe uh, not tall or too tall or too short, they I don't believe anybody is too short or too tall. Or someone who is not maybe of average height, they they can't add to their height. So usually people let it pass because it's a natural thing. Mm -hmm. But you see, for people who are plus sized, it can happen naturally. There was a time I, I had to tell God that any man that would marry me has to see me when I'm at my fattest. Exactly. Like, at the fattest level. And I think God did that for me anyways. Mm -hmm. Because I knew in my heart, I tried different methods. Talk about workouts, talk about... The fact remained that I had the potential to add weight. weight. Very fast. In a very short while. And I've seen, I have family members, I have relatives, I've seen my uncle. My uncle eats like times five of what I would eat. eat. But if my uncle eats the, the food that is inside this entire room, his tummy would remain flat. In fact, you will not even see it move half an inch. So everybody has been, uh, the, the body metabolism of each person mm -hmm. is different. different. But we tend to forget that. And we want to judge people by how they look. Now, where I'm going is that th this thing tends to lead to depression and push that person to do more, especially for mm. plus-sized people. Mm. There's a lady uh, whose documentary I saw, I think about two weeks ago, the lady was excessively fat. Big. Like, this is not even being big. She's like, I think she would be like maybe four of, or three of, 
two of you and two of me put together. Huh. And she she became you so see, fat. is that is that thing is the oh <laughs> like that's you understand? <laughs> you know, wait, you know when, you, when somebody walk past you and be like, oh god, no, <laughs> hold on. Our legs, uh, in fact, our hands, they're as big as my thighs. That's how big the hands are. They are very big that she became so fat that she now had three butts, three butts, three backsides instead of two that everybody has because the fat had to gather in, in another, in the way. third section. And it was really, and she cannot even sit on a normal toilet bowl. She has a iron one made for her. And she can't stand up on her own That's because her bone cannot carry it. Now, where I'm going is that she, according to her, she, she, she knew she was getting fat, but people would shame her, insult her, talk to her. Now she was making efforts. That's where a lot of people make mistakes when they mm. see someone who is fat. They believe, oh, you're just eating. Mm. Some will even tell you that. Ah, do you even still need to eat with Ex all this exactly. fat? I think mean, that's the most yeah, annoying for that's me. That's most annoying. So, and she said people would say a lot of things to her, and she started falling into depression. Now, the depression, you know, most times when people are depressed, so they tend eat, to eat more. Eat more. Yes. Yeah. yeah so myself now, the fattest times I have been, there are times that I've been depressed. That's when I get very fat because when I'm going through things, the only way I find a third bit of joy is in is food in, and eating. the thing is not that i'm not even looking for joy it's just that you just find yourself just eating. exactly time. just yes. need um, to take your mind off yeah, something some people call it eating disorder food. yeah so you just start eating you anything you see you just pick it and just whether it tastes good or not you just continue eating and she started she fell into that she started eating aggressively and without control before you knew it she and before she, she went proportion. out of proportion mm -hmm. she had to go under the knife because ours was beyond there's mm -hmm. no way she can't even walk out walk because out. she cannot stand on her yeah. own she has to sit 90 percent of the time now a lot of people came in the comment section because our daughter was in the video our daughter was already like the two of us put together hmm. then that's, that's then it's hereditary yeah, too that's another genetic. factor now um people were in the comment section bashing the daughter and and someone just came out to say, this is exactly what happened to the mother. So, mm -hmm. Yes, we know, it is clear that mm -hmm. the daughter needs saving. But she needs that saving with all the love and love support she can that get. she can get. Yeah. Some people cannot even afford a gym session. They, they, yes. even, they can't even, some people are too ashamed. Okay, uh, there was a time, you guys know how God has made my own body to look like. There was a time I wanted to go, go and work out. And I wanted to try it outdoor. When I went out there and I saw the way people were looking, instead of mm -hmm. them to face their workouts, they were mm -hmm. looking at the other part of the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. that was really... It made me cringe uh, and of, 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 it, made, of it was you, embarrassing for me. Uncomfortable. So, and that was the end. So any workout that I cannot do within my mm -hmm. home, I'm going to stay clear, stay clear of it. So I feel that depression is a major contributor to many of these things. But then, but then, wait. Uh, on the flip side, we look at some people that they feel like, okay for for me to boost my self-esteem mm. for me to boost my you know my worth and all of that i should do some things that's why we have a lot of celebrities a lot of people going on at the night they feel like okay, yes. this is the way i should go so i really want to know if it's is this so much of a big deal is it a problem now i feel going under the knife eh, maybe not it could be any other means because mm -hmm. there are several other means now some right. people are not even going under the knife some people mm -hmm. they have, yes there are mm -hmm. a lot of vegan and yes yeah. there's so many of it now so is it a problem now this is not aside from being on the plus side some people they don't like the way they are set of teeth are mm -hmm. they want something different right. like you said you would have loved to be a bit taller mm -hmm. so if you had the money and the surgery was not like we've seen some people do it mm -hmm. and you know it was it successful, came, it was so, successful. Mm. so should they be crucified should people really be crucified don't forget that the same uh social media the same environment the same society put us in this place mm. you know they made us feel like this is the way you ought to look mm -hmm. like now this is me trying to look this way you said we should look mm -hmm. like and here By all means. exactly and now you are coming to say why do you have to do that you don't love yourself you love yourself for who you are this is me and 
you know i really want to know is it a bad thing because we've heard a lot of backlash a lot of them they don't mm -hmm. like the way they are bought and they mm -hmm. want an increment mm -hmm. some of them they go they don't you know then it's not successful mm -hmm. they come back and it's something of like who send that mm -hmm. you should love yourself for who you are mm -hmm. you should do this and so i really want to know how can we strike a balance in that for regard me, for me really i feel that um you should just do what you think is best for you Definitely, there will be societal pressure. Whether they say whether, or not. Whether, they will whether be. you do it whether or you not. Do it people or not. will they always will come, and come and Exactly. People always have something to say. Now, we've been talking about um, the plus size people. We have people that they are just so slim. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the problem. bash them. Yes. And they want to. I, I, I walked into a pharmacy the other day and then I looked up and then I saw um, a different brands of um, weight gainers. Like, Different band you and I, and I asked the guy that what's this one for? I said it's for skin people who wants to get fat. You get and definitely there are fair skinned people that are being bashed for being for skinny. being fair, exactly. fair right? For being and fair. we have darker people yes. that are like, being bashed for being dark. dark. So I, I I just feel that if you we should not um, allow um society societal pressures to get at us don't allow what people if you feel you want to do it like within you you just feel like i don't like this i do, I, I feel i feel i will better this way not that someone told you not mm -hmm. that someone abused you but because because someone abused you, ah, i want to go and Mm. I just feel because that. I've seen I a lot of people because I've seen like two people I, I I follow on social media that they had a breast reduction. Mm. Mm. Now they were not comfortable, right. and Definitely. they were not comfortable. And this mm -hmm. this same thing is what some other people would go and pay for. Mm -hmm. They were not comfortable, so they came out to say it like. This is what I've been going through, and I'm going to go on that enough to reduce this thing. Mm. Whether you want or anything you want to say, say. But I'm going to do this thing. Mm. But they did it for their own. For their own, not because someone said that. Because, because they are too that's bossy. exactly where I wanted to come in. I agree with both of you that um, you should do it if that's what you feel is right. But I don't think you should do it because of pressure or because of what society is saying. Good because saying. the same people that are telling you that we know what they said when people when we were all looking at our normal skin yeah. mm -hmm. and people started going organic going, yes. going yes. through every measure so yeah. now some years down the line it's now bashing they now started bashing them for um, being too white, right. for be having too bleaching, smooth the skin and all of yeah. that and they call them bleachers and all of mm. that and what I just want each person to put in mind or have in mind when you want to take these measures you have to consider your health would it work for you work. is it mm -hmm. safe mm -hmm. is it what that's you what like? i think that's the first thing you should think about safety. Is it it's not about um yes uh, is this what you think this is what you think is best for mm -hmm. you is it really best for you not because you think it is best, best for you or because you want to satisfy a particular man mm -hmm. or something because in the end you might end up asking yourself that why did I do why this? Why did I even do this in why? the first place? To what end? Uh, I, in one of our programs, that's the conversation where Tonto DK was uh, interviewed. She said she, uh, after she did her body job, that she became more confident, that she wanted to be confident with her body. And she said now she can walk naked in the house and do certain things without even feeling bad about mm. how she that looks. Really now that's what works for her. And I think she had a very expensive one that is not so bad. So you, but, but we've seen people that did this surgery and they start leaking, they start stinking. Oh, we even mm -hmm. see that, that it's no longer balanced. Like, you that. know, it's, yeah. it's now different from what it used to the be. One hip is up, the, up the, the other down. one is down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not uh, condemning, I respect people who uh who, who submitted their bodies for it's, this process it's not easy it's not it's not an easy task <laughs> it's not but then you should not do it just because people do said it. so yes, yes. ask yourself Some people just... is this what i really need yes. there was a time in this our world that stretch mark was like oh an abomination God. you can't even... skin fold you... By and, and, waist and as here, women. Here are guys that that you know, is what they want guys to see. Tell you that I they love my to... babe with stretch marks. Stretch I love marks. it when everything is folded. Mm. I love them when they have the flesh in the right places. You know, we don't Even call them this, fat. This this tummy that we are saying uh, it's not flat. It's not. Yeah. There are some guys who yeah, find so, it of course, appealing that of you just have that bulge mm -hmm. in your tummy. I feel they, the person. They find I feel it the sexy. person who loves who, 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 who will love you will love you. That's just it. Don't say because okay, this person does not love fat. I want, I don't, I want to go. And, if you, if you, if you, no. because of somebody, 
do something and then you die in the process, please, the person will go on to get another person. <laughs> of course. It's a simple task. It's, it's, Look it's at uh, Bimba Ademoye, for example. She said something in an interview some time ago. Uh, she was asked about the tattoo here. Yeah. And she said yeah. it's the name of her ex <laughs> that yeah. was written there. Yeah. So she needed to find a way to wipe it. Wipe it. So now that guy is in the past. He's nowhere near. But whether she wipes it or not, even after covering it, it's the story is still there. Uh -huh. the Anytime name, she sees it, she it will, it will, it will, it will remind you of that. So when you now go under the knife or go through all this because process, of somebody. I, if I want to lose weight now, I'm going to lose weight because of myself. Yes. Exactly. Because of my health. Else. For a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. I can now decide what method I want to use. Maybe keto, workout, or whatever it is. But the truth is that it shouldn't be, not even because of my husband. I think people should really stop that. Because I, I heard a story of this particular lady that wanted to get married. The guy actually loved, she, the guy loves it when you're big. So, and the, the lady was quite big. Big, yeah. So, the guy now took the lady to the mother. Only for the mother to be like, why would you bring someone that is even way bigger than myself? Like, this is not... And the lady mistakenly heard the woman say that, you know. But because of the love, Sha, I would say because of the love, she had to start working out. Now, personally, I have a problem with that. Because I feel... your guy Are you marrying you. the mother or you are oh, marrying yeah, the guy? The son. Now, up, up until now, she's still... She's still in the journey of, you know, I need to cut down. I don't want so on. I'm like, but then, you know, we don't have enough reasons to mm. back up what we do sometimes. Mm. We just do it because you don't want, you want to be accepted. accepted. You want people to know that, no, I know this way, if I would say, baby, but, you, but, but you know, the honest fine. truth is that even whether, whether you lose the weight, whether you had the height, mm. whether you have the white teeth, whether you have the shaped lips, what people will say about you is what they will say they about will you. Say. Something happened to me, I'm going to say it very briefly, uh, some time ago where I was feeling like, okay, then I used to, people used to call me ugly. They called me ugly for a long time. Really? So, yes. This prince said that we so, are looking at. I know, at, I that know point, yeah. at, that, at that time, I had to pray to God, okay, God, I don't want to be ugly. He just make me beautiful, even if it's just for one month. Yeah. And really, God answered that prayer. Everybody just started saying, this girl is pretty. This girl is pretty. Then something happened that made me go back to God and say, take it, I don't want again. And he did, and the comments changed back to, when you're glitcher. So, uh, I, what happened was that that day I was going for tutorial, I was still doing jam and all of that, in 2010, 11, thereabouts. And I was heading towards, I was passing in front of this um, mechanic garage. There were a lot of men and guys there. And everybody was saying, this girl is pretty. Ah, ah. And, uh, and there was this one guy said, ah. Are you people blind? How can you say this girl is pretty? Then it now dawned on me that people will think what they will Whatever think of they it, want irrespective of what the majority mm -hmm. thinks, irrespective of what society says mm -hmm. is good. Even if society says you are ugly, that one person that will find you beautiful, beautiful. will find you beautiful. Definitely. Wow, Definitely. wow, 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 wow. Well, this conversation, I wish we could just go on and on <laughs> and still on. There's still a lot to talk this, about. Yes, because... <laughs> Looking at this whole thing, it's only women that are always. We've not talked about men. We've not talked about men. There's men's yes. parts. There are men you know, who feel I, I, insecure I, 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 about our time, our time themselves. Is, our time is fast paid, but you know, I saw some. I saw a man this morning, and you know, the, it, it was on the big side, and uh, he had um, a pot belly. Pot belly, and he wanted to get something. You know, I think he wanted to buy a shirt, and I was telling him, ah, this shirt will fit you. So that, and then the, the next thing he told me was ah, that. If he if he if he calls me and asks me out, will I answer Upset. him? Yeah, will I even look at him like yeah. I want? To, he wants to ask me out, and I, I, I just smile. You know, definitely. So you're going like to that, answer the question. I couldn't. I couldn't. Why can't you answer? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> you see? No, I couldn't answer that's the question. No, that's no, why. In case of next time, time, in case mm. of next time, I'm not saying it should be your spec because what yeah. your spec is your spec. You're a married woman, right? Yeah. yeah. But it, even it, without it being married, that, the fact that I didn't answer him does not mean that he looks ugly to me. No, no he was, but he was sent a message to him. To him. Yeah. Because you can't respond. Probably you're still thinking about it. You could have said uh, something no, to no, just no. make him. Make him. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I knew, immediately he said that I knew uh, this man, like this man has. Um, but wait, 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 wait. There's this thing, I don't know how to read. Let's just use it, you know, <laughs> as we wrap up the program. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up with um, this 
analogy, I be, I don't know what people used to say. Mm. That slimmer guys love the bigger babes. <laughs> and the going bigger by my own marriage. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. No, going by our marriage. Yeah, going by our marriages. Yeah. That no wonder you no wonder you could not respond to that man. Yeah, that's where I was going. That's where I was going. Because that's that's like, uh, really, no. really. I'm not even seeing Mr. Kale anywhere close to What are we talking no, about? No, no, naturally, naturally, I cannot I cannot go for someone on, on the, the big side. side. Why? I don't no, maybe because I just like slim guys. Everybody has their spec. You can't take that away from me. <laughs> So okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as much as we still have a lot of things to discuss, but we still didn't have time to talk about, about the men. Yeah. Yeah. And we would have really loved to talk about them. Anyway, we'll bring a part two of this conversation. Mm -hmm. And you're still going to have the three of us exactly. here talking about guineas. Yes, talk about the men. Because we feel like they are, you know, their ego sometimes shouldn't allow them to. In fact, this is the most dangerous. <sighs> but, and it is not talked about enough. Yes, yes. and I think we yes. should even have a guy to come and tell us. Tell as us right. Yes. Yes. As what they go. <laughs> anyway, but well, in all, I hope you enjoyed every bit of the conversation. Please love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, I don't know who is going to love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody can love you the way you yeah, love so yourself. Yeah, so you need to right. love yourself. So if you need to face the mirror and tell the mirror, look at yourself in the mirror and, you know, make some confessions about yourself. I'm beautiful. I'm dark skin. I'm this. I'm sh I do that a lot. And that's why I'm still glowing. Mm. So anyway, anyway, I wish to go on and on, but then we just have to wrap up the conversation now. Let's take a quick break. The break continues in a moment.